Hello and welcome to Mudge's Fade Out. Today we are doing another tutorial. It's a mid drop fade. Let's get into it. Let's drop him in the chair, mate. Get to business. First things first, we've got to clean the clippers, get the hair off first before we spray it. Some people spray it before they put the hair off, I don't get that. Makes no sense. So today we're going to be using about three clippers and a razor blade. So this is a barbless skeleton with a graphite blade. All the clippers are remixed, none of them are originals. We will change them. Even this, people don't tap the outside. And we've got to clean the blade as well. Cleaning the clippers is the most important thing. And there's a barber will mash up your head top. No, for real, for real. So mash up your head top, but that's how, that's how you get ring worms and all that other nonsense. Personal hygiene, some, some people don't actually understand personal hygiene. Now we're ready to cut. This clipper is a, it was a, what was it? It was a super paper, but it was a molding clipper blade on it. So you have a wireless molding clipper, because they haven't got that to market yet. Don't know why, but they haven't. Start with the skin line first. He's getting a mid drop fade, we're leaving this bit dark, we're not going up that high. And then we just want to get the line all the way across. Taking off all the bits at the bottom. We want to do this once. We want to do it over and over again. Main thing is, this, this is the main part of the haircut. Wherever you put this line, it will um, determine where the haircut goes and always remember the word symmetry where we do on the left side we do on the right side okay so that's the last of the skin bit so we take all of that off, we are ready to cut his hair properly now, we can start with the fade. So first things first, always start with the baseline, the guideline, but I don't know what other people call it, but that's what it is, baseline, or the bottom line if you want to call it. So we fade with these three clips, two, one and a half, 0.5, got the red there just as a safety net, red number one. But yeah, that's what you should need to fade, sometimes these are number four. But I doubt we need a number four for his hair. All of these greys, they fit in flush with each other anyway. So we start with the four closed, not open, closed. The hair's a bit bulky. The four, we'll just take a little bit off. Yeah. Same, same motion. Always the same motion as um, what we explained in the last video. It's a circular motion. This, this motion. Yeah. yeah, so basically what we're doing, we're just flicking the wrist, everything's, it's all wrist, right. so we're just flicking the wrist, and while we're here, might as well just do that to the beard, that's not catching it. So before you go all the way around the head, just trying to get some of this bulk off. Baseline to the top line, which is right here, should be about that much thickness all the way around. So it's about two inches, which is about finger length there, it's about two inches there. So we're just using the wild super taper. Obviously, we used the wild super taper with the balding head before. Now we're using the original wild super taper. This is nothing different in the factory spec. We've done the number four, now we're going to go into number two. We're going to do two open. So two and a half, as some people call it. Let's get back into it. So two, open. And we're just doing the same thing we've done with the four. Just going just a little bit lower. So this is actually the beginning of the fade. The four just to debulk. This will actually take some more length off and get the fade ready. All of this is, all of it is just prep work really for the last stage. 
we'll get to that in a bit. Same motion. The Super Taper is an entry level clipper, but it does better than most other clippers. <laughs> So now we've gone to the one and a half, always do it open, never start with close because it's not a good idea. Always start with open. So we're just going a little bit lower than where the two was. Same thing, flicking it out. And we're trying to maintain that dark area on the side bits here, so the drop bit. And I like to, I like to do the whole haircut together. Meaning as in like I don't do one side and come back to the other side, I do the whole the whole head. If you wanna say the whole head together. So no five clip now. Again open, not closed. That's open, that's closed. So we start off with a beard. As we go up, we close it slightly, close Wait, it slightly more. We close it because we want to get the fade right. So the shorter, when you close it, it goes shorter. That's what it is. So it gets closer to the hair. So what do you achieve from that? The fade. So this is how to achieve the fade. All of this is prep work for, for the last stage. So all, all we're doing, literally all we're doing is prepping for the last stage. And that's the last stage is where the fade is complete. You can see I'm going up about, let's say, what, an inch, half an inch with a normal five. When you get to behind the ears, I always like to hold the ears so you're not cutting the ears at all. There's no harm of the clipper going like that. So now it's just bare blade, no clips, and we're going to fade with this, just with the lever. And with the brush. The brush is the best friend at this stage. What you're going to do, you're going to brush, fade, Brush, fade. So when I get to this bit, I work in smaller segments. I don't work with the whole head. So I do it in small, small segment, segments. So every time I'm taking the clip of his head, I'm adjusting the lever slightly. And it shouldn't be a two-handed thing. You should be able to do it with one hand. It should, just, it should just come natural, eventually, over time. Okay. So the difference in the clippers. This is a fading clipper. It's got a taper, taper blade on there. This has got a skin, um, not skin blade, a bolding clipper blade on it. So if you look at the teeth, look at the teeth. This teeth is much finer, it's much smaller, it's much more closer together. This is a wider teeth. So this achieves a skin finish, and you can't do nothing else with that clipper. There's no lever, we took the lever off. This is one to use for fading. So again, 05 blade open. And just it slightly, go a little bit lower, fully closed, hitting that bottom line. Every time the clipper is going off his head, I'm not cutting hair, I'm adjusting the lever. Every time, without fail. You want a clean workspace, that's why we've got the brush. Clean the workspace, this is your workspace. And uh, it makes it easier to see what you're doing. Back again, with the bare blade. So we've done the two and a half up here, one and a half there, 1.5 up in there, now it's just a bare blade. 
you can see I'm just going in with the same motion that scoop, circle, circular, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's that circle motion. So you can see I adjusted it slightly, it was there, now it's there. I'm just going that a little bit lower. Then adjust it again a little bit lower. Okay, last little bit. Same thing. Same thing, same thing. So with the modifier we go all the way around. The bare blade modifier we go all the way around. <coughs> so now we're going with the shaver, double edge saber, babyliss. So around the ear, we use a single edge. Back of the head, we use a double edge. So when you're using the shaver, I use it right at the end. So I've done the fade already. So I'm not trying to create any more work for myself. You don't need them to have the skin skin right to the highest level. But even even with the shaver, it's still the same same thing. So you can see, well, I've switched it from this side to this side, double edge. Make it quicker and easier to complete the head. This is the Babliss Pro Skeleton Clipper. It's got the Graphite 2.0 blade. Just a back blade. The front blade is actually original Babliss Pro. And this is the best way to remix your skeletons. So we're just edging up now. And when we edge up, we are not making ungodly lines. I hate ungodly lines. What I mean by ungodly lines? There's a natural shaper. Okay. Why are we going to take it down here? We leave it there. So let's do the neck first. So look, even underneath, can you see the excess hair? It's just here, isn't it? The excess hair is there, so we just take the excess there. And the beard is there to be, to be maintained, isn't it? Healthy beard goes a long way. And then, the bottom line, take the excess off. And you can see, the way we mix this clipper up, it just, it just literally, you touch it, it's cutting. So if he feels comfortable, I feel comfortable, easier job for you, easier job for everyone else. So you don't want to touch it there, you will slice your hand up. You just literally, hear that snap, hear the snap. Ripping off. So these circles go in here. All we do is close that. Hold that securely there. Secure that in place, and that is ready for use. Flip it, two fingers on this side, two fingers on that side. Thumb is here, finger is here. This just secures here, and this rests on this little bit here. And the pinky, just um, you just do whatever with the pinky really. So when we're using the blade, we're stretching the skin. And small strokes, you can see we're going to small strokes, not long strokes, because long strokes is how you cut it, and we don't glide across the skin sideways anyway. You just you up and down, up and down, small strokes. There's a little bit there. So we're taking the excess hairs off, and we're gonna get that. Get that C, the C cup. Gulmulukhulla, circle head. That's what I actually translate into circle head, isn't it? You said gulmulukhulla. Gulmulukhulla. Cup, isn't it? Cup. So you can see it's not that gulmul, yeah? So let's make it gulmul. Gulmul just basically means circular or curve. In my language. So coming forward, then coming backwards and then lift like such and then that's how you get your hair to stick up like in your fingers and this is how much we're going to cut so what we'll do is make a guideline in the middle and that will give us another guideline from the top really we've cut and we're going to cut this bit here 